Yo, what's up guys? Hope you all are doing well. This is Zero back with another video. And this video is kind of a review of Cardinal OSP ROM, which is based on Android 8.1. And this is March 2018 build review. And if you want to see how to install this ROM, here is a card for you I made previously. So let's do it. So to start off the list, here are some key points that I made over here and I'll talk about them one by one. So first of all, let's talk about performance and the performance of this ROM is pretty good enough. You won't notice any lags or something like that in day to day usage and the phone doesn't heat up that much and it may heat up a little bit with gaming or something like that. But with my usage of normal YouTube and stuff like that, browsing internet, browsing Twitter, Facebook, etc. I didn't notice any heat up or hiccups and even the stability with day-to-day -day usage is good enough never noticed any black screen or something like that but I did face some issues with the Wi-Fi and I had to reboot once or twice I guess after flashing the ROM because the Wi-Fi was connected but the internet wasn't working while the Wi-Fi was actually working I tried with my PC and stuff like that after debooting the device two times, it was okay, so that's it. And here is the about section of this ROM if you are into that. So at the top of the about section, it shows the Cardinal AOSP logo. There is an option for OT updates, I'll talk about it later. If you scroll down, as you can see, the Cardinal AOSP version over here is 5.4 and this is official build and android version of course 8.1 audio and the stock kernel over here is lineage os kernel and in ot updates it shows if there is a latest build for you i am not sure if it can update the rom itself or not but yeah it should at least show the latest build i am already on the latest build that is why it's showing your system is up to date and in the about project section, it shows the names of the developers. So huge thanks to the developers. And here are some speciality of this ROM. The stock launcher over here is modified pixel launcher. And here is the settings for this launcher if you are into that. And of course, scrolling anywhere on the home screen to get the notification drawer feature is present over here. You can also change the icon shapes if you want to. And if you tap on the top right corner icon, it shows that this launcher is modified by Amir Zaiti, I guess. So huge thanks to him also. And if you go into display settings, as you can see, night light or night mode is working fine here. And you can even customize the intensity of it. From here, you can change the device theme to pixel or stock. Pixel is the bluish color all over the UI. And the stock one means kinda greenish colored which is same as Lineage OS and I like this Volti logo over here and we have some preloaded apps which I think are worth mentioning like this equalizer app with which you can control volume of speaker, headphone or bluetooth and you can even change presets so that's awesome and we have Margarita which is a substratum theme I guess so that's cool if you use substratum I don't use that and we have snapdragon camera over here the ui looks cool have a look if you want that if you talk about customizations well there are many so let's get into it all the customizations are in the wing settings in general, we have expanded desktop. I don't use it, so let's go back. Here we have UI style, which you can set to light or dark as you're liking. And we have scrolling cache. I don't know what it does exactly. So moving on, we have stuff like wake on plug and sensor block per app. And in call vibration and stuff like that. Next, we have status bar. But do note that moving a finger on the status bar to adjust brightness feature is not present in this ROM. So let's jump into quick settings for now. 
we have the normal brightness slider, enable or disable quick setting title and stuff like that and you can customize each column and row numbers. Next we have notifications, here we have style option, digging in we have notification ticker and heads up option and we have stuff like smart notification. From battery charging light you can enable notification LED to light up even in do not disturb mode and you can change the color of it if you want. Now let's go back in battery icon style of course you can change battery icon style as I have already done that to dotted circle but there is no option for big icons here. Next we have status bar icons from here you can enable 4G icon instead of LTE and headset bluetooth or hotspot icons. Next we have network traffic I don't use it so moving on. Here we have double tap to sleep which works on the status bar even anywhere in the home screen so that's awesome but no double tap to wake here. Next we have buttons in navigation bar you can enable on screen buttons if you want and you can customize home menu and back key actions. As you can see the recent button long press action is set to split screen so if I long press it the split screen feature appears and that too works fine here as you can see and long pressing the home button for google assistant is working fine here too. Now let's go back we have screen off power button torch option you can set it to double tap or long press. So let me set it to long press and now if I lock the screen and hold the power button for a few moments as you can see the torch turns on and you can toggle by pressing and holding the power button even while the phone is locked. So that's awesome. Next we have volume button wake and music control and stuff like that. Let's go back we have lock screen. Inside that we have lock screen shortcut customizations, media cover art, charging info etc. And moving on we have recents. Here you can enable clear all button and you can adjust the position of it as you can see. And on each recent apps we have option to lock particular app to keep in memory and force close an app to let the app not even run in the background and simply close an app by tapping on the cross icon. And here is the battery life of this ROM which is pretty good enough, not too good and not too bad in my opinion. And if you want to see the RAM management of this ROM, here is a demo. As you can see all the apps were perfectly in memory so no issues with memory management. Here is a demo of the face unlock feature of this ROM. Yes quick face unlock does work in this ROM. But for that you have to go to security in settings. Then you have to enable this quick face unlock option. Enable the quick unlock option too if you want that. And now tap on smart lock and from trusted face set it up. Once you have done that it works like a charm as you can see. Here are some good and bad things of this ROM. Well all the good things I have showed you already now let's talk about the bad. If you play a YouTube video or song and press the volume up button, it beeps when reaches the top volume while playing the actual audio, which I am not liking at all. And yes, GC Mod 5 is working super fine with this ROM and yes, you have to set it up but it works and there are sometimes force closures and stuff like that when you are not even using the camera like any other ROMs. So that's it and the portrait mode works super fine with both the cameras so there are no issues with that. And here are the N22 and Geekbench scores of this ROM. So that wraps up this video guys thank you so much for watching hit the big thumbs up button if you like this video and subscribe to the channel right here if you loved my work. This has been Tito I will see you in the next one bye bye now.